Hey, my name is Kamil Bauk and uh, I'm a Polish journalist and also writer. Uh, All Louis Children is, is my first book, a uh, non-fiction book that was uh, translated to Czech and to Dutch. And it is about a very strange story uh, that really happened. Because I did study Dutch uh, in Poland, I was um, browsing through uh, Dutch and Flemish newspapers. And there was a story about uh, one guy who has 200 children, but it was like a news, really tabloid story. And I want, wanted to learn more about it. And then it turned out that the story from the magazine, I, I, I wouldn't mention the magazine. <laughs> It was bad. Uh, but then I discovered that there's so much more in this story. Uh, one person in the Netherlands has uh, 200 children. Those people are grown-ups. Um, his name is not Louis, but that's the name uh, we are using. I did interview him and also a lot of those children. He was a sperm donor for 20 years in three different clinics, but one of the clinics was the most important in this whole process. And it was a clinic of uh, the doctor called Jan Karbat. You might have heard of, of the guy. He also used his own semen. Uh, so they are also biological children of Dr. Karbat. But, and I did interview both uh, Louis the donor and also Dr. Karbat when he was alive. Uh, but it's a, uh, some, like a tale about human beings uh, that I have to sort of put into journalistic frames. I was actually interested in uh, how the people who meet each other who have the same biological father, who share the same hobbies, sometimes they look very similar to each other, how they create the, the group, uh, how they meet with each other when they are in their 20s, 30s and suddenly realize that there's like 20, 30, 40 of them and they have to make some decisions about it like do we want to go to TV do we want to meet each other like they are everywhere it's very very weird but it also can happen in all the countries because such doctors worked in all the countries and they do work even now so that's sort of a book y you can read it as maybe it's gonna happen to me in the future and it's actually not that bad I can guarantee you.